Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, we have a, today is uh, Wednesday, right? Usually we have meetings on Thursday, Friday, but today is a special day. We decided to make it Wednesday. Nice background. Thank you. It's not real, but yeah. Hopefully it's going to be real one day. Anyway, uh, let me unmute our students. Today we have uh, Pavel, who already graduated from Test Pro and who is going to share about his experience today. Okay, let me go to attendees. Pavel, allow the talk and also promote to panelists, right? Pavel, mm -hmm. can you say something? Uh, yep, hello, hello. Uh, I'm not sure why my camera is not working. Oh, yeah. It seems like just instead of you, I was trying to promote another person to the panels. Yeah, I need to do that with you. Sometimes because some people are adding at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. I was trying to add yourself to the panels, but some person edits, you know, that's why I just, yeah, I messed up a little bit. But anyway, let me go to your name again. Okay, uh, more and promote the panelists. Can I try one more time to find the icon? Camera icon. I yeah. think you got yeah, it. Yeah, it's working. Cool. Now you can nice. see. Hey, nice Hello. to see you again. Yes. <laughs> cool. Nice to see you. Thanks <laughs> for participating to our uh, meeting today session. Uh, I think we can get started. It's already 5 p.m. PST. It's our time. Okay, Pavel, can you tell us about yourself, please, first? Um, yeah, sure. Um, uh, uh, I graduated from the, uh, my name is Pavel. <laughs> I graduated from group uh, 27. It was late November, I think, or well, mm. like mid-November. I'm not, not sure about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a part-time college student and I worked full-time as a customer service representative. And uh, yeah, I decided to take test pro courses to uh, kind of boost my career. Oh. I would say, and uh, it worked out well. Now uh, I'm a QA tester at a company called Bali Interactive. It's kind of a big company. Um, they have a lot of offices in Europe and uh, Canada. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's like a iGaming casino and uh, like betting company. Uh, yeah. And they recently bought, uh, not, not like bought, but kind of signed the agreements with uh monkey knife fight if maybe somebody heard about that mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah we're advertising on instagram a lot and yeah mm -hmm. I, i'm a part of team of monkey knife fight right now cool it's interesting uh where are you located which state uh i'm located in michigan um mm -hmm. city called lake orion kind of like 40 minutes from detroit area oh how about your company where is company is located um, well, I think the office, like America office is in Los Angeles or like, like somewhere in California, maybe San Francisco, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. uh, but I usually uh, interact with uh, HR and uh, management from uh, Toronto, from Canada. Oh, is there any time difference between? Yeah, I think there is some. No, time. no, no. I mean, with, with them, no, I don't have it. Well, with with Los Angeles, yeah, it's three times, uh, three hours time oh. different, but not with um, Toronto. Uh huh. Cool. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it took you how many months to find a job to get your offer? Oh, um, in general, it's um, a little bit. Like, well, I, I won't count November, so it's December, January, February, and March. And like end of March, I got my offer. But uh, if if to be honest, I, I like I quit searching like two times or something, and at some point, like maybe um, at uh, beginning of March, I kind of told myself, okay, like from now on, I'll just keep applying. I'll do like 15, 20, maybe like 25 applications per day, and uh -huh. at some point, uh, it will. Uh, I, I will get an offer, and yeah, it, it worked out basically one month of entire like search every day 15 oh. 20 25 applications and other uh months like just casually maybe 10 15 applications and not every day maybe like two three days in, in a week so it's not super um uh, 
busy search but with mm -hmm. last month yeah last, last month I, I was spending like three four hours a day wow yeah it's good it's very good practice <laughs> to find a job to looking for a job <laughs> yeah okay cool um like four months actually basically uh, like you know searching a job and pretty yeah. active i would say and how many interviews did you have for these four months Oof. um like from november till march till the beginning of march i didn't have a single interview not even the full interview uh i, I like it was kind of strange for me as well because like nobody would give me a chance to something but since march i had like three or four phone screenings and two interviews uh like in uh, via zoom uh, and uh, the second one got me the job offer second one second interview second interview yeah i mean uh the second company i interviewed with one company uh they said yeah like it's it, it's pretty good okay and mm -hmm. uh, you're good but they never actually called me back but the second company that i interviewed which was Bali's interactive uh they were pretty quick on that Mm -hmm. you said you didn't have any feedback from the company you applied to for like almost one month and you know something um, i had like a feedback uh if if you count this as, as feedback it's like just automated uh replies that you like we decided not to move forward with you or something like the linkedin generated and uh that's basically ev everything that i was getting sometimes i wasn't getting anything from the company they were just ignoring me and that's it yeah, what do you think what would be the reason why just they're ignoring you or just you're getting feedback like automatic feedback by the machine mm, not sure because i didn't really change my resume uh during that time uh maybe like a couple times i added uh what i, I added like pairwise testing that like we were discussing previously like long time ago and uh another thing i added is uh, it was something else i it was like just small feature that i uh, i knew but like I, I i'm not sure if it, this is actually the case why they were ignoring yeah. me maybe there was the season you know like the winter or something and spring i actually started to getting uh replies and like positive replies and the uh, interview scheduled so uh, mm. okay and how many interviews did you have total before getting this offer if you're gonna count not just uh, record uh, recruiters, just HRs and managers, maybe like leads or QA or developers. Oh, you you mean within this company, right? From the very first uh, one. No, no, first. not not within this company. Like mm -hmm. before, you said you just went through the a few interviews before, right? But now just they didn't choose you, like for the. Uh, for the yeah, program. I went. I went through my ver my very first interview. I thought that like I think I was just like too nervous and uh i failed couple tasks technical tasks that they gave me uh and uh i just came more prepared to the uh interview like the Another. second one yeah i came more prepared and more confident and they they actually mentioned that that uh like my confidence uh wow. actually like surprised them a little bit and they uh mm -hmm. it, it was they said it was nice to see from some like uh from a person yeah, I told you when I was just you reach out to me, like your DM, and you told me that, hey, Dennis, what's going on? I mean, no response, so I'm still on the market, you know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it takes some time, just just don't worry about it at all. I mean, just it's going to take some time, one month, two months, you'll get your offer. You see, I'm, I'm Vanga. <laughs> <laughs> time change yeah. predictions, you know, went through. Okay, and you said you messed up a few technical interview questions. You remember the questions? What kind of question it was? Um, one question uh, was, um, mm -hmm. they asked me how to test uh, some area of the website, uh, the sign up, uh, uh, sign up form um, of okay. the website. I went through them, like through the tests I was, uh, <laughs> yeah I, I saw the chat as well <laughs> so, uh, so uh i started to go like uh, one by one things that i would test and only after interview i realized that i skipped um uh, all the requirements for password or something you know like oh. something I, I i i actually i uh went over requirements for email and for username but I don't know how I just skipped the requirements for password. Like it's supposed to be like 
eight to like 16 characters long, like uh, one uppercase, one uh, special symbol and so on. Uh, uh-huh. I just somehow skipped it. I'm not sure how, like, like I said, probably I was too nervous and uh, uh-huh. that's why I skipped some parts. And uh, another was um, SQL query on join, like table join. They asked me this and I just couldn't do that. And mm-hmm. that was it. That you skipped the passwords uh, in order to feel, did you skip like verbally you said about it or just you did some assessment during the interview? Uh, yeah, I was, I was verbally describing oh. how I would test it and I oh. somehow skipped the password requirements. Yeah. I was just... One of the important thing you skipped actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, only after interview, I realized that I was like, ah, they probably won't call me back because of that. So <laughs> I, I, I was expecting not like not having callback from them. Okay, okay. Uh, now just uh, we kind of close to talk about your you know, company's interviews. So like when, when you got, where you got your offer, what you've been asked during the interviews and how many rounds, you said two rounds of interview you had? So I had a phone uh, screening. I, I'll just basically explain everything that I yeah, went yeah. So uh, I had one, first one, um, at first, they rejected me with automatic reply. <laughs> like that was pretty funny, oh, yeah. Because I remember that because I saw like Ballas Interactive, and I decided like to do the research because I'm watching sports kind of often, and I'm always seeing their symbol in the like uh, advertising in hockey games or baseball games. And I was like, that's a pretty big company. E A or what did they No, uh, B. Uh, the uh, B in the red square, the, the white like cursive oh, B yeah, sign yeah, got it. Uh, got it. in like red I square. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I'm seeing that symbol like before. I've seen that. Let me do a research. So I did a research. I really liked the company, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'm gonna uh, apply. And I actually uh, pinned the um, like I, I put their email box as an important message, so I would get a notification. And the notification I got it was I was rejected, and they said that we will not move forward with you. I was like, ah, okay. So I keep searching, and maybe after like three or four days. I'm seeing the manual message from the HR um, that says like, we are interested in having a conversation with you and uh, please tell us where, when would be the best time to contact you like via phone, like phone screening. And I was like, whoa, you guys rejecting me and then uh, and accepting. Who, who, who responded to you about this successful message? Who, who was it, HR or? Uh, yeah, the uh, technical recruiter. The, I mean, the, uh, it's it was within the company. Uh, she had this Bali interactive uh, like footer and like signature. Uh, she she oh. works for Bali's. She's not like recruiter from other company just looking for something. It's, it's a direct hire, but okay. her position called technical recruiter. So. Okay. Uh, how long did it take you? Like after you know uh, between the automatic message and between her like her message when she replied you back? Maybe like two to three days, probably wow. something like that. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So may- maybe they were like maybe they found something, someone. That's why they sent me the rejection. But then this person like disappeared or whatever or failed something, and they started to look again, and I was there. So. It's possible, you know, you never know like the insights of what the well insights of their heads. So mm-hmm. um yeah, and uh we scheduled a call, uh, and the goal was pretty simple. It was it was more like uh like behavioral questions, I would say. No, 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 it's just a typical questions like tell me about yourself, but just rephrased a little bit, you know. Uh it's like something about experience. And uh there was one question that I remember even right now. Uh the technical recruiter asked me uh what what is important uh during the mobile testing and i was like i immediately remembered every marina's lecture about mobile testing (laughs) that that i participated in and i was like okay yeah so and i started just to answer this question like it's important to uh not not block like the calls because it's the phone it's supposed to receive a calls messages texting and it's supposed to save the state it's supposed to uh like uh, lo- lock the application if there is a password something if you uh like quit it and go back again so i started to answer everything i remember about that and she was, uh, oh network conditions as well so 
and she was like oh yeah like you said basically more than i expected to hear i was like oh, okay yeah thank you so, stuff, right like uh, like each and every qa is supposed to be know that <laughs> yeah i mean well uh i i didn't say that i just say oh yeah thank you i i <laughs> i, 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 pr I practiced a lot before this interview so you said that and, to hear? Uh, yeah yeah <laughs> okay. so and uh then she uh, then it was it was Thursday I guess and she said okay we'll we'll either call you back Friday or yeah. uh, and, and um, no it was Wednesday she said we're, we're gonna call you back uh, during this week uh -huh. uh, maybe Friday I was like yeah sure of course and Friday nobody called me back <laughs> and uh, uh, but but at the end of Friday at like 6 p.m or something I received an email from them saying that uh, something didn't like work out for them and uh, she will contact me Monday and like enjoy your weekends. And Monday she contacted me and say, uh, like uh, it, it's like the second interview basically. Uh, they scheduled, a, we scheduled a second interview. She said like, I, I'm past the first one. And the, the second interview was, um, uh, it was Thursday. Yeah, I scheduled Thursday. So I have a little time to prepare from Monday to Thursday. And uh, the technical interview was with originally scheduled with three people, but I had with two people uh, because one one is uh, some like high director, like big big boss basically, and he yeah. had some meeting or whatever, and uh, he said that he won't be able to. So I had an interview with QA manager, and uh, interview with director. Um, so he's like director of developers. I, I don't know how, how, like, what's his actual dev position. manager. Yeah, most likely he was a dev manager. Yeah, something like that. So uh, he he was managing devs, and uh, the other guy was managing QAs. Basically, he's managing me because he was the only QA, and uh, I'm the second one on the, on, uh, the company in the company. Oh, got it. Uh huh. Yeah. So, and uh, what what have you been asked, and how long did it take you? Um, it took me maybe like 20 minutes or something. It was super short one. Yeah. So the first one, they just pulled up my resume and said, okay, yeah, uh, uh, you said that you learned SQL. I was like, yeah. Uh, and they were like, okay, that brings us to the first task. And we opened like the um, code editor and they were like, okay, so you have a database uh, here, like a table, description of a table. And mm -hmm. uh, we would like you to pull, like read through tasks. Like there are two tasks. The first one was um, select all rows uh, where the product status is um, uh, being shipped or something. And I was like, I started to write the query and I, fa I failed in the first one. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, was, I was actually pretty nervous about that as well, but uh, I failed in the first one because, you know, when you look on the graphical user interface for the database, the table is looks like, like the name of rows at the top and uh, yeah. The name of the columns at the top and like uh, data below. But if you put it through the console, uh, you uh, have description uh, of the table is reverted. Yeah, on the top is just like a uh, uh, some default uh, or like some state of this variable. In the middle, you have like in, in the cells, you have the data type and description of this. Uh, and on the left, you have the names of actual names of. Uh, um the uh, the columns like the rows and some something like that so and i looked at the wrong place and they were like oh is it like a field i was like oh no it's not so i i removed it and i replaced it back with the like actual field and they were like okay yeah that's cool and what about the second one the second one was something like this but with and keyword so uh, pull this yeah. And this from this table. So okay, I'm basically sorry. you select from select where all from database where something and something. Yeah, basically. The basic one that is, you know, the yeah. one of the simplest one like, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was the super um, like super easy one, and uh -huh. uh, then uh, like the manager of devs say, okay, like uh, I just the, uh, you, you cracked those two pretty quick. Let me just give you the third one, and he gave me the joined one uh, on the joins. And I started to write it and I almost got that like uh, on a join, but I uh, like messed a little bit. He said like, oh, cool. Uh, it's almost good, you know, but a little bit not like this. And he showed me how to edit my query to make it work. But I think what saved me, uh, like it helped me a lot. I was actually um, saying out loud, what am I doing? Like, 
how yeah. am I thinking about this query and how am I going to write it? So they were able to track my thinking. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they actually said like, it's a very good thing that we, we now know how you think. And uh, did you tell about the first query just uh, out loud or when I was just, you did drawings on it? Uh, everything. I was, uh, I was reading through it. I was like, okay, I should, I should go with this. So I know it's select all from uh, this table, uh, from this table, uh, where this happens and so on. So yeah, I was actually saying out loud. And another one, the next after the queries, they said, okay, we have like another technical task for you. Uh, it's, they pulled up the login screen again. And they said like, uh, okay, how would you, how would you go and test it? So and at that time I was able to not be so nervous and I actually uh, nailed it pretty good. So, and I did like, uh, I described everything and uh, even like, I, 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 I would say like, I said even about API, I, I said like, I would test it from API side as well. If you have like the uh, endpoints, uh, if you have, um, actual like documentation of API, the type of request, like the response uh, that I need to receive, I will test that as well. So, and uh, verify in database that this user exists. So basically I went very, very thorough on this one. Uh -huh. uh, they said, oh yeah, that's that's super nice. And then it was like just a couple theoretical questions. It's It was something like one of them was, what if I just give you a task and say, hey, can you test this please real quick? And uh, but you don't have a documentation like would you be comfortable about that and how would you go about that so i explained that uh and uh, what do you, you say how are you gonna come up uh with your task without documentation well i said that i'm gonna test it based on uh, common sense uh because like i see and uh, like i understand how the project works and like, it depends on how i know the project and the product and mm -hmm. uh but basically i would test it on the based on the common sense come up with some at least checklist uh, what I need to go through so I can go through it and uh, everybody else will know as well what I did and maybe what I skipped uh, like and uh, you can verify uh, what was tested what was not so basically uh, I told them that I will create my own documentation if I don't have a documentation for a task at least even if it's really short it helpful and they were okay with that answer yeah and what I was going to add in terms of, you know, uh, talking out loud when I just you do like automation code or do like, some queries or API requests, you have to always like, you know, I'm referring to students, maybe for probably like for the future, you have to always say like out loud. In this case, even just you're messing up something, but they uh, see the way how you think. If you're going to just even like mess up something, but it doesn't matter the way how you think it's going to be enough for them to accept your, you know, this answer. Even it's going to be like kind of not clear for them, but like they're going to get your, you know, points and you're going to, you know, pass this question. Yeah. Yeah. I, I threw in a couple jokes about like, I would be more confident if I had Google uh, with me and uh, yeah. I had the ability to Google and they said, oh yeah, you can imagine how much, how many times that we're Googling something. So it's not yeah. super necessary to remember the entire syntax, just like basic yeah. things. It's not a trick. You, you always can mention about Google. I said the same thing when yeah. I was had an interview with Apple. I said, hey guys, you know, everybody used, you know, Google, like, oh no, yeah, in your company, like in some other companies. And so me, yeah, of course, like 80, yeah. 80, 90 of our time we use Google. I mean, so that you're fine, right? To use that at work. So yeah, it's like kind of joke, but it's true, right? Yeah, it's actually true. Well, they laughed about that. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, and yeah, they said after this interview, they said that they're gonna call me back. Um, uh, they said like I asked about the uh, time frame, uh, like what should I expect, and uh, they said, oh, we like. We just started like the initial uh like you are one of the our like first interviews oh. and you're probably like uh, gonna have to wait for a week or something but i was like okay yeah so i went to work the next day i worked there and when i came back i like uh i i hear the phone rings and it's like the canadian uh code i was like that's quick <laughs> So I'm answering and sh and the recruiter that I was talking uh, to uh, on the first interview, they were like, oh, they are like super satisfied with you. They are uh, like, 
really kind of a huge impression about your personality just like uh they really want to talk to you and this big boss like the uh, his name is roy he's like he wasn't able to participate in the first interview he wants to talk to you like uh as soon as possible and the next day which was uh i think friday already mm -hmm. uh, we had an interview with him as well so at 10 a.m in the morning so basically, hold on, hold on. you had an interview with two people on Wednesday or uh, on Thursday. On Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. On Wednesday, and yeah. so in a couple of days. Thursday, with yeah. The director Friday. They called me Thursday back and said, uh, uh -huh. "Okay, I, I might, I might say Thursday in the beginning. It's it was Wednesday. Sorry, I might mess the day. So I said Thursday. Okay, you said like yeah, it was time from Monday till Thursday. Okay, anyway, just yeah, you had an interview on Friday with this guy, right? With yeah, director. I had an interview again with these guys, and uh, he said, okay, I, I'm gonna have like two technical questions and one behavioral question. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. So and he and the very first question he asked like am i familiar with uh performance testing i was like uh, no <laughs> i didn't do that yeah i didn't do performance oh. testing and we're never covering it and like oh, we're just covering a little basic of theory yeah, basically, you use chrome dev tool when i was just i think marina showed you guys how how to use like you know how to test performance testing at least like using some tab like some commands right well uh Actually, I saw how they doing performance testing. They using like external tools for that. Not even Google Dev Tools. They have uh, like uh, it's basically they are. I don't know why he asked me because I never do that at the job, and they never ask me to do that. Uh, maybe yet, but I heard that developers do that. They just they just have a set, like. I'm not sure why he asked me about that, but he asked me, and I answered like no because I'm not familiar enough i would say maybe yeah google dev tools is a good thing you know but it's definitely not the entire scope of what should be tested in performance testing that's why i was like no not, not, i'm not so um uh, uh not so sure about that uh, about my knowledge in that way mm -hmm. and the second question i thought it was a trick question because he asked me about um do, do you know how to do functional testing and unit testing i was like well, unit testing is something that developers do when they wrote the code and they would like to test it unit by unit. And functional test, it's like the 80% of QA work of manual QA. I was like, we're testing the functionality of the project. I thought it's a trick question. That's why I just described both of those tests, how I understand. And I said, yeah, of course I did functional testing. It's basically a huge part of my job. And they were like, oh yeah. And the unit testing, you know what it is. It's very good. Yeah, it's amazing. So. Yeah, uh, uh, can, can uh, let me say something. It's like it was a tricky question, you know. Just my one of the students, you know, being asked uh, during the interview. The interviewer asked, "Do you know the difference between regression testing and functional testing?" You see, it's kind of tricky one too. Yeah, right? yeah. It's so you gotta know both of them. Functional is the part of regression testing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's kind of tricky one too. Uh, but for performance testing, you can generate your reports using lighthouse if you go into chrome dev tool you can just you know uh, enter or choose a couple of options let's say performance testing accessibility testing there are a couple of check boxes and you, you're gonna get your report right away just you know a couple of minutes it's like kind of quick testing but if you are talking about the huge performance testing you have to use jmeter or I think uh, Coglin, another one, like, like in my company, in my manager. I yeah, I used to have JMeter in my previous job, but here I think my QA manager uses uh, something, Kotlin or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, and mm -hmm. the third one was uh, my favorite question that I was practicing the entire uh, prepara job preparation. And the favorite question of everyone is, I think everybody know that, how do you deal with conflicts if you <laughs> have the conflict in the in the workplace with some for example you saying it's something is a bug and developer gets back with you and say it's not a bug so how would you go about that so yeah, yeah of course i answered that i i told that i will uh, inform my manager and the manager of developer development as well and okay. uh, i of course can provide uh um my opinion why i think it's a bug and developer can provide his opinion why he thinks it's not a bug so we can find the common ground with uh, the management involved as well so and mm -hmm. uh, they were okay with this answer so and mm -hmm. yeah that's it uh, then they it was like 15 minutes inter 15 minutes interview and that's oh. it and they said okay we'll just um, uh, like the, our 
hiring managers will contact you and uh, I waited till Monday and Monday I received uh, in the morning I received my uh, job offer wow I can ask you how many times you check your email like before getting the <laughs> <laughs> entire Friday then I didn't no. check uh, well Friday I was kind of prepared that they will not answer me because Friday usually it's end of the week uh, they fixing everything not to worry about this over the weekend you know so I was prepared uh to not to uh receive any response from them but monday i woke up in the first hour i was just checking 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 like updating and come on where is it yeah. and uh yeah they sent me the job offer so. oh congratulations yeah it's very good actually it's very good feelings when i was just you open your email and you can wow yeah i did it yeah i, I did it <laughs> yeah we have a couple of questions what's the hiring office uh what is the hiring office the us or canadian one um the um uh, they i think i got uh attached to california office california, yeah yeah but I, I work fully remote uh from home uh that's why it doesn't really matter where am i attached i yeah. know that they handle all things with taxes all things with like everything i'm not like uh involved in that they handle everything they their hr team is pretty like big and uh they know the laws of canada and uh us oh. as well so yeah the and uh i think the application i was going through there is like a phone app i think it's called paycom or something like that mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, it basically asked me for all the signatures and uh, mm -hmm. all the uh, documents and uh, i have just provided everything and i think they work in uh they just like attached me to the us uh, office in california mm -hmm. but i'm working from michigan so i'm paying michigan taxes so oh got it. So, yeah. They, I, I don't know how they did this, so, <laughs> uh, really and I'm not really interested. The only thing I'm interested in is it's, it's, it's legal. It's yeah, good, so. of course, you don't need to pay attention to things like that. Maybe yeah. it was an integrity test, integrity of Pilot's personality. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe. What is integrity? I forgot this word, integrity. Uh, I'm not sure integrity. I can just yeah. pull it up and translate it or whatever. But I, I forgot this word to be. Honest. I think it's more not. It's more like a oh, a, like a joke question or something oh. from uh, yeah. yeah uh, Paradoxness. Got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Pilot's personality. Yeah. Uh, did they check any references after um, got your offer? uh yes they asked me the references uh that's for me to provide so uh I it's fairly easy process i just contacted um uh, test pro mm -hmm. and uh well i i i like i had a question in the head like okay i told the story to this company how would my reference know this story so i should probably check it out so i texted De uh, denise and then I texted chat, in chat, they sent me the instructions on how to submit your uh, resume to the reference check website. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I just submitted all the information over there. And uh, then I provided the references that I was given after uh, my mm -hmm. mock interview to the HR. And uh, she just sent emails and uh, everything went good. So she received a response from this, from the references. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, yeah, you passed. So here is your job offer. Just sign it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied about your job offer? Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied about your job offer? Yeah, they they gave me even more than I asked. So I is asked it? like... Okay, what do what you ask? So I asked for uh, 65,000 uh, because I thought they're going to negotiate till 60, but they just offered me the top that they were offering, 70,000 plus bonuses. 70,000 so, 70, and plus bonuses. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bonus based on your um, salary. Oh, uh, salary. It's based oh. on your salary and based on how company performs and how you perform. Oh. And oh. it's up to 10% from your salary uh, at the end of the year. So oh, yeah. yeah I, I, I've heard about like 5%, 6%, even 3%, but in your case, even 10%. It's, yeah, it's up to 10%. 
it's going to be oh, yeah. grow, grow up like to 10% more or it's going to be just one time bonus uh, next year is going to be again 10% or how? Uh, it? Yeah, it's yearly. At the end of the year, they just take 10%, uh, 10% which is like 7,000 and then just deposit it to my account. Oh, I see. But your salary is going to like, you know, be the same as before, right? 70K. Like it won't yeah, grow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, well, they said like there are a lot of opportunities to grow and they they planning on uh, growing the QA team. So they will need a team lead and they oh. in a couple of years, they planning to go to uh, automation and uh, form their own automation department. So they will have to uh, someone to uh, be on automation. So uh, they said like there are a lot of opportunities to grow. And a lot of people told me like if you need like uh, some new challenge that like it's not necessary to quit the company just ask for it and uh, they will yeah. move you to other department they will drop mm -hmm. some new things on you and so on so you will you will have a lot of challenges basically cool. here so the company is very huge cool it's very good uh, what does your typical day look like oh um so it depends on day i have a meeting on uh, monday wednesday and friday it's a developer stand-up meeting so it helps me to jump on uh, something what they're working on and what should i expect and uh, usually me manager and the developer manager i uh, mean my manager and developer manager they identifying the scope of the next release uh, we basically we have one product on three different platforms it's our website monkey knife fight and uh, two uh, Android and uh, one Android, one iOS, uh, iOS applications. So, and we're testing all of it. So we, we do uh, answering this question from Lina as well. It's not yeah. just mobile testing, it's three different platforms. So it's web and mobile at the same time. So mm -hmm. um, uh, my, like uh, I would say my typical day starts before the California office starts and opens because I'm waking up like 8.30 and I'm starting to work and they waking up closer till 11, like 10 or 11 uh, a.m. on my side. So I'm just checking what is pushed on staging, what is on release maybe I need to retest. I check some, I check Slack emails, notes, maybe somebody left mm -hmm. me assigned task. Uh, if nothing there, nothing to test, I'm just working on test cases because I can say why, but we have a pretty huge thing coming in and uh, needs to be covered uh, with test cases. Mm -hmm. And we recently migrated to test rail. And oh, uh, oh. yeah, we were working in Asana. It's like oh, a basically- I used to have Asana, Asana before too, right? Just only yeah, one. It's, when it's not Asana. so comfortable in test cases. And you tests. don't like it? Yeah. Huh? You don't like it? Well, after Zephyr and now working on oh. test rail, I don't really like it really what because is? Oh. Well, it's good as a to-do list, you know, and uh, kind of a way to interact with developers. But in mm -hmm. case of running test cases uh, and uh, submitting the reports and all that stuff, I would prefer... Um, okay, your test trail is integrated in Asana, right? Uh, test trail will be integrated into Jira. Oh. Right now oh. we're migrating to like, to like linked test trail and Jira. So... Okay. We don't we don't have Jira yet. I know the okay. European offices they have Jira plus Test Rail at the same mm -hmm. time. They can work it, and now they bringing and uh, every everybody that works for Bali Interactive and Bali uh, Sports and every like whatever has says Bali, they have Test Rail and Jira, and they kind of connecting Monkey, Monkey Knife Fight because it was a, a independent startup, and now it's bought by uh, this big company. Mm -hmm. They connecting us to this like. Uh, Needs some time, I would say. Now uh, they showed me test rail, and uh, I I don't want to brag about it, but I know a little bit more than my manager knows about like test case managers management system because he works in Asana all the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I worked with Zephyr before, and uh, test rail is kind of similar to Zephyr. Mm -hmm. so. But Asana doesn't have any integration by other tools. Just no. Okay. No, it's just Asana itself. Yeah. So yeah, and uh, I'm just covering my uh, test cases. I'm usually bugging developers <laughs> like uh, who dropped some task on me and didn't provide any uh, clear description of it, or uh, like I need them to uh, take this task back and fix something, or yeah. I need them to view if they can fix it real quick and I should drop the task back or create a new task. So 
just regular QA things. And uh, once a month, I would say, we have the entire uh, company, uh, the entire Monkey Knife Fight and the Los Angeles, uh, California office uh, joining Zoom. And uh, we were just having like some sort of, not demo, I forgot how it's called, retro meeting. Like retrospective. We can, yeah, retrospective. What, what went good, what went not so good. Mm. at what point we are right now what we have to do next and so on mm. so yeah that's basically the typical day mm -hmm. it's interesting how long you've been working there a few months already um i'm working two weeks there two weeks uh -huh. and i'm already testing by myself without like super like you've been working there guys you, you're gonna agree with me it looks like you've been working a few months at least or <laughs> three months the well, way how uh, you speak, the way how you speak like professionally, you know. Everybody, like, says, yeah. everybody says I have a good memory, so I guess it's true. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's just I don't want to be fired and I need to keep up the legend that I have a three years experience, like I said in my resume. So yeah. uh, that's why I had to kind of keep up and uh, I'm spending kind of a lot of time outside of my work, you know, when uh, mm -hmm. I'm logging off, I'm going, I'm playing with the front end i'm playing with applications and the most big thing that we have not even the front end each that website looks like looks like as this thing uh, has a huge admin console uh behind it that controls everything sports users that everything mm -hmm. and i'm still struggling with that because it's huge it has like 350 individual items or whatever oh. So, and each of them has like functional functionality that I have to uh, come up memorizing it because each time I have to test something, I need to first mm -hmm. prepare the project on the staging uh, right. area because everybody playing around with this. So yeah, uh, I have to learn it pretty quick, I would say. Yeah, got it. Yeah, it's a very good story, you know. <laughs> uh, what job application sites did you use? Uh, I used, at first I used LinkedIn only, uh, then I was using, because it's basically like the resume of 21st century, I would say, this is your resume and uh, this is your working history. Uh, so, mm -hmm. but then I was like, when I ran out of options in LinkedIn, I went to Dice, ZipRecruiter, and uh, I went to Glassdoor and Indeed, but uh, ended up quitting Glassdoor because Indeed and Glassdoor, they had a lot of uh, interfering uh, yeah. jobs out there. And I was like, why would I apply two times at the same job and filtering out and scrolling out and scrolling through so many jobs mm. when I can just use one site and it basically will give you me 99% of uh, yeah. jobs that it's on both platforms. So True. yeah, and I found a job on LinkedIn, actually. Oh, yeah, the platform I started from, I found a job there. First one, I'll just you apply it, you got a rejection, and then just uh, yeah, yeah. your technical recruiter reach out to you back after that, mm -hmm. right? I think like they saw your application, right? So like, what 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 do you think? What happened actually? She saw the application when I was just you applied to, and then you got a rejection, or uh, she found you like on some like LinkedIn or like on portal. I would Sorry say. Like my uh, most like smart theory about that is uh, probably I applied at the, the time somebody like me was there that made a good impression. They were like, okay, we probably found the guy, just reject everybody else. And this automatic reply went out and they rejected everything, including me. So, uh, and then maybe this guy like accepted some other offer or just mm -hmm. failed on the, some part of interview. And uh, they said, okay, we have we have to find person, so let's go through them again and see what who. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's like anything, the most like know. smart thing to think about because I'm not sure actually. It's not 100. percent It's just a guess. It doesn't matter. Like as long as you're working, just you're yeah, I work. Yeah. You know, satisfied with your salary, with your team, with your work. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Uh, what is this DLC model? Did you guys have agile? How many people in your team and developer team? Uh, so about considering the SDLC model, looks like we have Agile because uh, we do have uh, like all the parts and we mm -hmm. uh, like all, all the parts that we're discussing, like uh, um, like I'm, I'm basically working from test beds. I mean, it's a te test bed called uh, 
uh it's like pre-staging area for developers to play around was not not only by unit tests but on uh what uh like the entire website or something they can quickly change something because as soon as they push something on staging they cannot change it so quickly they will have to change something then submit the pull uh the pull request from github and there's some of the seniors they uh pull this and uh, uh like i adding this to the build basically so oh. and yeah we go by small things small uh adjustments of the system and uh we, it goes from all the process from the developing uh, developers push this to the review then the mm -hmm. seniors review that they submitted the pull request pulling it on staging submitting the build we test the build we're pushing it back uh, pushing it down to uh, ready for release then uh, it getting released we check again it getting uh on production after it so i i would say it's agile how it looks yeah, like yeah. it's not Most wonderful yeah, yeah. and how many people yeah. yeah it's agile definitely so and how many people in your team and development team so right now it's one qa manager as and me as one qa we don't have automation in inside of our team we test everything manually and uh, we have like almost 10 well, i would say 10 developers including seniors and managers uh, because they develop things as well. So Hold on, 10 developers for working at the same project as you? Yep. But it's it's a lot for one person. Uh, yeah, but basically, I, I'm not sure. Uh, like, we hired, uh, I know there are, like, one, two, three, at least four new people out there that are, like, super green, you know, like, super newbie. And they're doing some small to tasks. you, they're pretty green, of course. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> uh just freshly hired and they doing some like okay this sql query is not generated correctly can you check what's happening if a uh, user interface submits some search criteria criteria you know it gives an error or remove some link from the website it's not longer in use or whatever some short like small adjustments they can mm -hmm. easily do without breaking any anything so, oh are you talking about four new hire they are developers not qa yeah they are developers yeah oh, they're developers right. not not qa so i would say they're like two or three seniors like uh, one of them are is like a manager of devs uh, and uh, like for those new hires that mm -hmm. are pretty fresh and uh, like couple like middle developers that were that basically do the most of the job i would say yeah, yeah that's uh, why they that's why yeah, they hired yeah. an additional qa because uh, this yeah. guy manager he like but uh, let me ask you, uh, does he test by himself, like your QA manager, you know, having yeah. yourself or still, yeah. right? He's, he tests, you test together, right? Just... Yeah, we test together because like like I said, he, he didn't do uh, good by himself, uh, both like managing and testing. That's yeah, why right. That's uh, they hired me. So at some point he can do managing, he can answer developers questions, he can work with uh, uh, other managers, other departments. Uh, and basically drop tasks that he is unable to look at on me and I will just pick up and uh, mm -hmm. do it all. So, yeah, in the future, when I'll just you, you become a team lead, you're going to hire maybe one of the our students, that's pro student. Maybe, maybe <laughs> we will see. The way, the way how you speak, the way how you understand the process, even like after two weeks, you're going to be pretty successful over there. I told you even before you remember that when we had interviews, like Mark interviews. <laughs> I told yeah. you, you're going to be like, you'll have your offer, like, you know, just pretty quick in terms of your personality, in terms of, your, you know, your knowledge, your skills. And I told you, like, I repeated a few times, you see the results. Yeah. Vanga, again. <laughs> <laughs> what other questions we have? Uh, which tools do you use for mobile testing? Um, for now, I just tested something on iOS because I still don't have an Android device uh, sent to me and we don't really have like browser stack. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, like we don't have anything except the physical device and maybe like Google development tools to check how it will look at the browser of, like in the, on different screens, you know, you can toggle the mobile view out there. So you mean Chrome, the space, tool. Chrome, the tool. Chrome dev tools, yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Uh -huh. Not only in Chrome, Safari can do that too. So it's yeah, but it depends what kind of browser they use. But you use just 
Chromos, of course, was the most. I'm using one. both. Um, oh. I'm like my, my main browser is Safari because my company bought me a new MacBook Pro, so uh, oh. and I'm kind of yeah, I'm uh, and I'm familiar with Safari and Linux in general. So oh. and oh. well, how, how how my friend said like Mac OS is more, it's like a Linux after marketing department. So same, oh. even the terminal looks the same. So like. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm working in Safari, uh, but if I, I need some functionality that only Google Chrome can provide, I open in Google Chrome and uh, work on Google Chrome as well. So, and the, the iOS thing that we testing, like uh, we working through test flight, we're receiving the build, we're installing it on our, like I'm installing it on my personal device here, oh. iPhone XR, and uh, that's it. And I'm waiting for, uh, I think Samsung will be mailed to me within this week. I'm, I'm still waiting. They sent me out this like last week and uh, I'm still waiting for it to um, come here and uh, I oh. will um, take yeah, a look at Android it. application as well because I only checked the iOS. And uh, yeah, cool. Uh, there is another one. It was hard working and having interviews at the same time. Um, I will tell you more, uh, Gavhar. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. uh, sorry, I can pronounce names very weird. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm from uh, Kazakhstan. I can pronounce names like that. Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I was working. I was in college on part time, and I was looking for a job and preparing for interviews. And at some point, I was a test pro student as well. So, if you, uh, if you wish, you can you can do it all. You can or, achieve. It. So, but yeah, I would say it was pretty hard. Like. Uh, I'm usually watching like cyber sports and I skipped a lot of tournaments because I just physically didn't have a time uh, yeah. to watch. I was watching short like results, match results and news overview and that's it. I yeah. couldn't find a time to watch actual sport or do any of my things. And uh, yeah, I was skipping a lot of my private life, I would say. But eventually it's worth it. You see, you got your offer. You it's worth it. Yeah. It, uh, now yeah. I have all the free time. It's about world. your salary. It's yeah. by about your company. Yeah. yeah, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm working from home. As soon as yeah. I turn off my laptop, I have the entire half day to... Yeah, do you remember you had the interviews when I was just, you were working, and I remember that some office, you work night shift, right? Night yeah, I work night shift. I, I asked you, hey, what are you doing there? You said, like, this is my work, actually. I'm working. I was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like of... or something late, like my time. I mean, my time, it was kind of like 8 p.m. <laughs> the time... I don't remember 11 or something like 10. Yeah, it was super late. It was like 10 p.m. at night or something. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I remember a lot of students from B27. Uh, they remember I had the automatic light switch at my office. So if I'm sitting like this, it it it, uh, it didn't catch my movement. It would turn off the light. I had to move like this, or it will turn the light. Uh -huh. So yeah, I I remember that time. I was studying. I was learning uh, test pro everywhere I can just to. Uh, get the knowledge in my head and uh, yeah. uh, be successful. It's very good. You are right now. Uh, who assigned tasks to you? I think your manager, right? Um, yeah. yeah, my manager assigns tasks for me and uh, some developers were instructed to assign some tasks for me. Those uh, uh, new developers, basically, because senior developers sometimes uh, provide the like so um, technical-ish description of a task i can't even understand what they're saying like i have to bug him uh like bring him to huddle in slack and talk okay. to him and share my screen and uh have him walk me through what he changes here and what he did here uh for me to understand what should i test to verify it with works yeah exactly so, i'm gonna do the same thing after this call with my developer yeah <laughs> huddle with him yeah. i have like a few questions to him too uh -huh. Okay, let's move. Do you explain okay. skills in your resume or just list them out? Yeah, I will, I will ask, answer Eric at first. Yes, I, I, I grant you to uh, put my recording in uh, on the channel. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, I already answered. I said yes. Uh, oh, okay. we're gonna, we are recording. We're going to put in the stack. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So explain skills in your resume or just list them out. Um, not quite understanding the question i mean uh, i i will i will just go through my resume a little bit so mm -hmm. uh, i had the brief overview at the beginning uh, 
of my resume, I had like a bold things saying like um, QA engineer, like three years experience in the field, like green card holder. So I'm authorized to work. So all the core things that I did and like uh, then uh, like technical tools that I know and know how to use. And then uh, in my experience, uh, I actually provided short things what I did, for example, I will just do like two, like couple things. So I was like, wrote clear and understandable test cases uh, using uh, uh, Zephyr, right? And uh, logged bugs and uh, log bugs, track uh, the, uh, track fixes, uh, provide, provided reports uh, using Jira as a bug tracking tool, something like that. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't only listing what I did. I listing okay what I did, like short, brief explanation mm -hmm. uh, to show that I understand that how it works and the tool I was using for it. That's it. So my my resume was maybe for like one page and a little like tail at the end, couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. It wasn't so big. It wasn't because I have now I had two companies basically in the resume so yeah. yeah now it's almost two pages so wow you're pretty, you're pretty experienced right yeah because I'm, I'm finally getting like real experience we are different tools because we never covered test rail and now i know how to use test rail yeah let me ask you one question by students and let me ask you like my question for myself and we, we're gonna wrap it up after that okay uh which industry did you work before qa um uh, so i started as a lift truck driver <laughs> the furniture company then i lift truck driver yep i was literally lift truck driver then i uh got kind of promoted to inventory control then i got promoted to team lead of uh, the customer experience office and i was working as a customer experience team lead uh, let me ask you lift i know just lift like uber right company no no, no lift lift truck it's lift truck it's like a pogrushik Ah, lift yeah. truck driver. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay, got it. I was kind of lift uh, Uber. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was uh -huh. I was doing the same job that uh, almost all immigrants in the US uh, without education did. <laughs> so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, then I got promoted to customer experience, uh, and uh -huh. it was computer job. Not not so I not IT job, but just like sitting in the office, like office ne plankton. I don't know how to say mm. it in English. <laughs> so the and, office uh, plankton. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. And uh, yeah, I was working as a customer experience team lead before I got to Test Pro. But like, honestly speaking, I have like two years of uh, computer science college behind yeah. my back. So I kind of understand the terminology and uh, mm -hmm. uh, all that. I don't know how I don't know how to code, but I understand how to read code. If you show me some code, I will tell you what it does. So cool. something like that. Will be your future goal. Who knows? <laughs> Probably yeah, maybe I'm I'm still I still need to I still have a, a lot of steps to go through so yeah definitely and the yeah. last one as always from me and what are you gonna suggest recommend to our students who just already graduated from Test Pro who are on the markets uh, looking for a job like maybe just messed up a few interviews and yeah but what are you gonna suggest like you know don't give up and to get your to get the offer like eventually. Yeah, well, of course, don't give up. <laughs> it's like, it's the most basic thing, but I mm -hmm. would say just uh, focus on uh, your knowledge and uh, like don't don't treat that like, you got rejected as uh, some failure. Just analyze uh, what maybe you missed uh, during your first interviews. Like I said, right? I analyzed my first interview. I realized that, uh, oh, of course. Okay, cool. So I realized uh, the office vibes. So <laughs> uh, I I realized that I skipped something. So uh, to, for the next interview, I prepared uh, better. And uh, yeah, analyze your failures and uh, just keep moving, keep applying, uh, keep uh, interacting with recruiters, keep getting like keep getting any chance that you can uh, to put some knowledge in your head. And uh, don't like don't don't stop. Just don't stop. Because I stopped several times. I I stopped because I was sick with COVID in December. Mm -hmm. I stopped 
uh at february because at the end of february i had like a trip with like a uh, all across uh, all over the us but then when i decided not to stop and i didn't stop i got my offer so oh don't nice. give up and uh just keep applying and uh what what what's yours will be yours yeah exactly i just agree with your all recommendations and advices so yeah, we're done with our interview. Thank you so much, guys, for participating, spending your Wednesday time with us, as always. And thank you so much, Pavel. It was a enjoy to be together today. And yeah, and good luck like for the future, right? Who knows? Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna ask you to like participate in a few months when uh, you you will become a uh, team lead or QA lead, and you're gonna tell me, hey, Dennis, uh, we are hiring. Like, do you have anyone? <laughs> uh, from the students, said, yeah, of course, I have a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much again, and talk to you next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>